Hey everyone, we're playing Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions, and uh, we're playing it on the PSP um, that I've, I've had for a while, and it's uh, been an interesting day so far getting this all set up. I, uh, I'm running it through, I got the PSP component cables running through an HDMI adapter to get it into my TV or get it into my Elgato then to go to the TV so um kind of layers of stuff getting this to to just be recordable um so first things first I know it's tiny on the screen right now and uh I'm looking over at the capture right now that's probably gonna be tweaked as I go along oh, god damn it um so, uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously not going to be the biggest, the biggest, um, <clears throat> full screen thing, at least for right now. Um, <laughs> but I, I just want to, I just want to get started. So we're just going to get started. Um, we're, we're doing a new game. We're going straight from zero. Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my most favorite games ever. I'm going to skip most if not all of the story Rums is fine uh and uh yeah we're we're gonna be skipping most of the story and pretty much just doing records of the battles I'll maybe record my random battles to show my leveling up processes but uh yeah for the most part we are going to we're going to just keep our uh, keep the story out of it. So first things first. Um, <laughs> a lot of people that have played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics start to prepare their character from this point in the game. And I'm not going to do that because there's a fight at the end of Act 3, Chapter 3 I mean, um, that you can actually set up the uh, your, your character's birthday for very very like to to make the fight easier and um yeah i'm just not gonna bother with that now i i was i'm keep i keep looking over at the capture just to make sure it looks okay but we got a black loading screen here it's pretty much one-to-one -one what i see in my my monitor my uh tv because uh yeah it's not actually filling up the screen on my my screen anyways and I was in debate over taking out the very first fight here and I may still do it unless I start talking during it because this first fight you only control you only control Ramza and uh, it, it it's really boring <laughs> it's it's even really boring for me to do like I I wish I'd actually prepped this a little bit to make a save file after the first two battles in the game. Because the first two battles aren't anything to write home about. I mean, the first battle's kind of interesting. But... This battle's just not at all. But yeah, uh, today has been getting, getting the setup working. Specifically the backdrop. And, um, also, the, one of the big things is volumes, I don't know, because I'm, I obviously have my microphone right in front of my face, but, uh, I don't know how the game volume's gonna record for this, so maybe I'll just keep this in as the tester video as well. I mean, I did test it a little bit last night, but, for the most part, um, it's gonna be pretty adjusted as we go on, like, maybe increasing screen size, or moving it around a bit, um, for each video. And then uh, obviously adjusting volume, but yeah, we'll we'll work that out as we go along. But having the backdrop here, because normally the backdrop would be like, is my hand on camera? Okay, the backdrop would be like right here-ish, because my computer's over there. So it's like I had to figure out how to get it behind me essentially. So yeah, here. <laughs> All of these characters are technically guest characters on this little team here. Um, 
And first thing you're gonna notice right here, no lag. Cause I love Final Fantasy Tactics so much that Okay, there's so there is one thing we gotta do first. That um Uh, that I absolutely I always turn that off turn the colors off because it, it screws with me disable unequipable items on optimize on job change we do not want that okay so um <laughs> I love this game so much that I actually went out of my way to do a little hack on my PSP so that it wouldn't friggin' lag. Um, so, uh, yeah, we... We're, we're technically running a busted PSP here. Not that, I mean, I think everyone does that. Either they get one where the firmware is so old that they could just do it, or... You prick. Um, <laughs> or they, uh... Or they just go out of their way to do like a hack on a up on like a, a higher version of the the firmware. So this fight, everything is basically on autopilot. It's sort of to introduce you to the game a bit. And uh It's really boring. <laughs> Uh, the funny, the only funny piece of trivia I know about this this fight is you can actually lose it. If if Gafgarian and Agrius um, have sub jobs that are not based around attacking, you can actually you can actually end up losing this fight if they don't do their sword abilities. Cause that's sort of the reason why they're here is, uh, is because they can like deal a crap ton of damage with um, whatever the hell Stasis Blade is called in uh, Judgment Blade, um, and Shadow Blade, I think it is. Wow, that's kind of a unique thing for him to have too. So if they don't do their stuff, don't do their their sword skills, um, you can actually lose the fight. It's I don't remember what happens if that happens though. Like everyone's knocked out, and then Ramza turns in. Well, I guess Ramza turned into a crystal, and it's game over. But yeah, it's it's kind of funny that in this starter. Oh, you waste of space! So glad I get to kill you later. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert! I will spoil this entire game going forward. Um. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I have no... I'm actually gonna be just spoiling everything as we go through the game. It's a, It's almost 20 years old. So if you haven't, like, played the game or looked at the game's story, shame on you. There are probably people watching this out there that are younger than this game. I feel old. And for the record, I do turn Gafgarian into a priest for that fight. For that fight where you uh you fight him at the uh the waterfall. Skip it. Skip it. No, I don't want to watch it. The princess. This way, be quick and try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you. You've quite a mouth on you, princess. Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that brought you, not I. Is it 
truly him? Tana. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting out the uh the cinematics, I think, if I can't skip them. So in the original game, that text, this text right here, takes forever to come out it's like it's typing or being written or something and it's like there there are occasional times when the the text will like stop and hang on words and it's like i just want to play the game like right now i just really wish i could skip the texts still even at this rate Yeah, so I'm going to include the this fight all in this episode too. And then I'll start talking about where I want to take the team and how I'm going to build build the team up. This fight is moderately more interesting than that first one because you actually get to control your units. But all you get are squares and chemists. But I can point out some tricks with it when we actually uh, when we actually get into the team formation. I also find this game's the because we're playing War of the Lions, and I find this version of the game, like the gratuitous use of K's, is really funny to me, because I actually don't mind like the blind idiot translation of the first game, but uh, it's 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 comical to me that they they did this redo of all of the like they did a, a proper translation of the game, which is good. It's it's actually a really really good translation. But they they throw things in like academy spelled with a K instead of a C. Or they put K's on the end of the word magic. And they're they're little they're little um sentences here and there that Yes. They're little sentences here and there. That um I guess we're doing save slot 15 right, right at the bottom. Um, I think there's one that's like, I must away, which is an, a legitimate sentence, but still kind of kind of funny. Just that they put in these little like medieval sounding things. It just, it is amusing to me. Okay, so first thing, first things first. Um, with your, your starter units here, two of your squires are going to have broadswords. Two of them are going to have daggers. You generally want to put your your squires with the daggers in. Or broadswords in, sorry. No, put your squires with the, the broadswords in. And then I put my two chemists in as well. And if I recall correctly, Delita is right here or right here. I mean, we'll just start. So my, my basic tactic is to send my strategy, we're strategizing right now, is to send my two squires to the right to fight the two squires that are over there. While Ramza, Delita, and well, Ramza and Delita go to the left, and then my chemists can back up both of them. I think the weirdest thing that you can have happen in this is sometimes your chemists will have move find item learned. I don't actually think there are hidden items on this stage. At least none I've actually looked for. Oh, Delita is right to our left. Okay. I generally prefer to keep things tilted up like this. Oh, I don't think I can actually move up to that square to hit him.
Now, the, the tricky thing in this fight is him. Because, like, the characters only have 30 or so health. But he has potions. And that could actually be kind of difficult to deal with. The only thing I don't like about the PSP version of the game is I would prefer to have the camera rotation on the shoulder buttons. But, uh... Oh, she can't really get up there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh, she has defend. Jeez. Okay, so I want to point out something about this speech bubble in particular. In the original game, Ramza says something along the lines of, Be careful, don't rush them. Period. I'm also a bellow. And it's like, it's like, what a weird declarative sentence to put in there. And it's like, here it makes sense is what he's saying. He's saying, we bellows don't blah, 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 blah. But it's like... It's like, there's a possibility he can, like, say a weird... Just that weird... Idiotic sentence like, I'm also a bellow. Natalita runs away. <laughs> yeah, this fight is incredibly predictable. The only thing that that's kind of ticked me off already is... Yeah, he's going to use a potion now, I bet. But I believe... Ramza and Delita can kill him now. Or at least Ramza and... At least Ramza and, uh... Delita, at least Ramza can hit him really hard here. Now, um, I looked at Rush because one of the, the things you can do in the game is knock people off of heights with it, but I don't know if that's high enough to actually deal any real damage to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're an idiot. Thank you. And I think all all of the enemies here are actually equipped with daggers, except for the main guy. I don't remember exactly. So I, yeah, we're concentrating down on the leader here, and then what we're gonna do is now I should be able to just move him like back a space, and then she'll come up. Yep. And then, yeah, we basically concentrate our DPS down to get one enemy killed. Once we've killed an enemy, it actually lessens the, the threat that the rest of the enemies possess by a very large degree. The only difficult part here now is actually going to be fighting this guy. Because it's going to take us a, a round or two to actually move out to him. It's going to take us a round or two to move out to him. I mean, we can start just whacking him now, but... Kind of force his hand. I don't think I'll need to use any items for anyone here. Wait. He's at 20. I don't think this... I don't think this squire up here can actually kill one of my other squires. Let's move her here, just in case. Everyone has defend, it's weird. I mean, granted, it's not the weirdest thing I've seen here. Like I said, I've seen move plus one, or uh, move, move find item on characters here. Well, at least that critical hit didn't kill her.
Now, because I have her, because she's in the critical status, she's in the, like, run like a rabbit mode. So, uh, it's not going to be a problem for her to still be alive. She's not going to do anything. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be needing a potion on her. I think we've got this fight pretty much locked up now, provided Delita kills the Squire. Uh, yeah, this fight's pretty much done. It's just going to be... It's just going to be burning down this chemist. <coughs> chemist with his not-a-dagger equipped. And then chasing her down is going to be a little bit of a, a pain, but we can do it. I really, I really actually like this fight as a starter intro fight to the game because it teaches you so much about all of the mechanics, like how there are different heights and how there's water involved and how um, and how you have just different units on the battlefield that are going to be doing different things. Oh yeah, that kind of is done. So now that we've actually killed all the units, she's going to go into like a berserk mode kind of thing. Where she just wants... She's just going to try to fight. <laughs> this happens when you have enemies weakened. We'll just have her wait. The squire can take her out. And that's the first fight. Not, not difficult at all. I just realized I have the camera covering up the height thing in the upper, upper left-hand corner. So I think I might put my camera in the lower left-hand corner. I don't think any information is actually displayed over there. So your first thing you get is a mithril knife, a potion of phoenix down to 2,000 gil. That first set of gil is actually going to go for buying my first unit. And uh, I'll talk about that next time. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys then for more Final Fantasy Tactics awesomeness.